Welcome to Norway! I'm Heidi and I will take you on a tour of the highlights of the St. Olavsleden on the Norwegian side of the border. Now we are at Sul, at Olskjelda in Sul. It's a spring where Olav drank from on his way to Stiklesta. His army flattened the fields here in Sul, so the farmers became quite angry and disappointed. So Ola rode around the fields and then the grain straws again. So this is the place for one of his miracles on his way to Stiklesta. This is the Stiklesta church. It's built on the battle site of the Battle of 1030, where St. Olaf died. It's built from local stone. Very typical for this area. It's a beautiful church. We are now at Stiklesta Church. And underneath and behind the altar is the stone it said that Saint Olav was leaning on when he died in the battle in 1030. This is a very important and popular place for pilgrims. We are now at the guest loft at Stiklesta. It's part of the medieval farm Stiklastadi they're trying to reconstruct here and it's a medieval house built with ancient techniques and you can see the traces of the axis on all the walls and it's a lot of carvings here. It's a beautiful building and it's a very popular place to stay overnight for pilgrims. This is how a longhouse from the Viking Age for a rich and wealthy and powerful chieftain would look. It's made by the same principles as the guest loft, so there is no modern equipment used when they build this. So it's uh, a popular place for hosting uh, groups of pilgrims can sleep here and also for parties. Mm -hmm. 